a lot of them here, spinners. So in this lake there's just perch, pike and some stocked rainbow trout. I, I'm not really into lake fishing. Look at this. Wow. Slowly rivers turn. At the moment, the best song. Gonna try a new spot today. Like there's plenty of these forest forest rivers here, but to find one that holds bigger fishes is hard. In in two hours the the rain is coming. The river is a little bit smaller than I suspected, and it's very shallow. It's really hard to evaluate the river from satellite photos when it's when it's a forest river. Like you really can't see anything, and like the shadows from the trees on satellite photos can look like bigger pools. Oh, what was that? Oh, hey. find a fish. It's really time to find a fish. I'll do that. Okay. This is the, this is the first place that can hold something. And I think it was a rice over there. There's some something on the surface. Also, I've learned to say it's surface instead of surface. A shot of a rise while I'm here. It doesn't make the picture any better if I'm here. Sorry for that. You know, I could just edit that out from the internet legacy of myself. And almost an American girth on this one. <sighs> it is a Douglas fir. No, oh, it's not. I think it's called Norwegian spruce in English. Not sure. Peace, yeah, obvious. And that's my Latin name dropping. I'm gonna keep on doing that. It's not a lot of species I know that Latin name on. So I have to do it sometimes. This is a better part of the river. Maybe I should seize my opportunity to catch a fish, but I can't catch that fish. I think this fish is is small, like really small. I, I know all the fish I catch in the forest are small, but it's like, there's a very big difference if you get another Centimeter. Okay. Oh.
slightly bigger fish. I was stripping in and it, it was following. Let's put the focus there. I think I spooked it. It spooked. But that was a that was a bigger fish. Wow. Whenever you go down to a river, the forest becomes so much more beautiful. Like look up there. Back to reality. Look at this. And here the beavers have a created a sculpture that tries to in some way glorify life in the woods. Wow, it is a bird. Wow. It don't, seems like it wasn't really happy with the first tries. And then, wow. I think I have to go over here the forecast said the rain would, would come 11 o'clock and, and it's it's almost 11 now but I have a feeling they're wrong I have my feeling and they just have satellites and shit now the rain is coming but I think I've found my spot it's a little more water down there so there's a there's a fish down here just gonna put the camera on the tripod and See if I can catch it real fast. Yada! Oh, it's a big one. No! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Don't know if I got any shots of it, but that was all I all I wanted. <laughs> it's just how they go from small to a little bit, a little bit bigger. And then it's like all the difference. <sighs> it's a little bit muddy. Oh, now I should make some coffee. It is, I feel very, I feel very, I don't know, stupid when I become this happy for, for, um, for a little fish. No, that was too weak. It's like someone commented that I need fly fishing to to come out here. This project is also so good because because I say stuff and then in the comments you teach me some some English. And what I'm looking for now is a word for a pool that is in a bend. In Swedish there there is no such word. But like 
where the river is meandering that makes for good pools because they're a little bit deeper and and um, that like a pool in a bend should have a word okay maybe this is something for Jagesundqvist it's a weird looking tree and now is the time when I realized yeah but I had a lot of a lot of things to do today that I didn't do because I went f fishing here instead and you know I, I have responsibilities now actually the mosquitoes are starting to annoy me mosquitoes and mayflies it's like evil and good it, it sort of disappear in the in the forest bubble when you're here but then <gasps> i have to do things i'm gonna see if i can get some kind of revenge on this trout i'm gonna kill it I always, always forget to bring rain jacket and food, but I call it drought. People from the southern part of Sweden, they might not recognize this flower. It is, it is uh, Skogsnäva or Midsommarblomster. It's like the most famous flower in Sweden, but in the southern parts of Sweden, they don't have white ones. Maybe I'm wrong. I need to say something. Yeah, usually they look like this. This color. Purple. There's someone from Texas watching. I guess they don't care about the Swedish flowers. But I do. I'm gonna try to say stuff.